Hello YouTube, Jay War here with another video. Um, I'm hoping you guys had a, a fantastic New Year and uh, a great Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever your religion may be. I hope it was wonderful. Um, me and myself, I'm just trying to kick this cold that I got, but uh, yeah, on uh, New Year's Eve I received the Bastinelli Creations BBR2. I think it might be the only one in the United States right now. I could be wrong, but I think a lot of them stayed in France or closer to Europe. But uh, without further ado, let's take a look. This is the way it came, by the way. And uh, if you guys are kind of weary about uh, ordering anything internationally, especially from Bastinelli Creations, don't be. Uh, he informed me as soon as he uh, got these in, got them sharpened, got them, got them engraved. He shipped them right off, and uh, within a week. It was to my house, all the way from France. France to Detroit. But uh, here it is. The Bastinelli Creations BBR2. Um, it's a product of uh, Lion Steel. Uh, I believe Lion Steel did all the uh, water jet cutting and uh, milling machining on these. But uh, it is definitely a Bastion creation symbolizes it kind of looks like the uh, the Raptor a mini version of the the Raptor his fixed blade that's very popular but uh, hey let's get some specs on it well first of all we'll do a whole 360 viewing of it is that better Yeah, but check it. 7 of 30. This is 7 of 30 of his. He only had 30 numbered versions. The rest is all uh, production. It's, uh, I believe he just got in. But, uh, overall length of the uh, knife is uh, 7 and 2 thirds inches. The blade length itself is 3 and a half inches. Well, the cutting surface on it is three and a quarter inches. Uh, the blade thickness is about an eighth of an inch, made of uh, D2 steel. It is a titanium frame lock with uh, a titanium pocket clip. It's a nice black anodized titanium. The uh, glass breaker slash backspacer is made out of aluminum, so it makes this uh, knife super light. This is very, very lightweight. Um, I don't have a scale to weigh it, so I don't know the weight, but it's very light. If I had to guess, probably about three, four ounces, maybe less. But we got the black textured G10 on here very grippy very very grippy this thing fits like a glove in the hand too it's like a a modified spear point so I could see a lot of uh, stabbing thrusting with this knife um, it's a very good cutter uh, it's very very sharp it came uh, I believe Bastion hand sharpened these before you send them out, check it out. Awesome. I think that's uh, all I might be using it for is uh, paper cutting because <laughs> this knife is just uh, a gem to me. This probably will be a safe queen just because it's low numbered. But uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a black PVD coating on the blade. So it'll make it uh, 
virtually rust proof. My only complaint about this knife is when I got it, the blade is just a hair off center. I don't know, it kind of seems to be a fad with European knives that I get. But that's okay. I think I could fix it. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Love the action on it. Of course, my thumb is having a malfunction right now. Got this uh, blood groove here. Use to open it this way too. Even closed, it fits like a glove in the hand. So if you had to use that as an impact tool, you got your impact tool slash glass breaker. Um, I haven't taken apart and I don't think I will, but if you look closely enough inside there, I believe it's nylon washers. I'd prefer uh, bronze phosphorus, but whatevs. On the inside of the aluminum uh, backspacer, you got the Lion Steel logo, made in Italy. I think I've covered all the specs on it. But yeah, this is a very nice addition to my uh, collection. I kind of wish I owned a BBR1 and had that to compare it to, but I don't. Because uh, I'm a newbie at collecting knives, but... Probably find one of those, it's probably going to cost me an arm and a leg. Also, I wanted to show you these two because I got these for Christmas. Some Elsa Fontino knuckles. I got a little uh, vampire skull guy here. And we got uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm just going to throw that. Kind of make some, some neat uh, stocking stuffers here. Hang on. There goes my phone. Very cool. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, uh, I couldn't be more than happy with this thing. This is definitely staying in my collection forever. But until next time, you all have a great day. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Peace.